Kansas, carry on my wayward son. Oh, you've never heard that? No. And oh, this, this, man. Uh, That's a great song. Okay, so Dawn would love okay. to hear you say that because this is her song suggestion. Now, this was because I was watching Supernatural and it was one of the songs in the the show. So everybody voted for this song. So this is yeah. my first time reaction to Kansas Carry On My Wayward Son. Carry on. Don't sing it All before right. I read yeah. it. <laughs> Ruin it for me. I'm not ruining it, but I mean it's like as soon as you turn it on, that's what you hear. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Ooh. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no
enough. So this was really good. Yeah, was I good. really I told en- you. enjoyed the vocals yeah. in this because Ronnie Platt. His name Ronnie. Ronnie, Ronnie yeah. was singing. He was getting okay. Down for I love all the different like switch ups that they had. Oh, yeah. uh, what is that called when you switch up? Just a transition. No, not a transition. It's something else they call it. Anywho, um, I love all the different instruments, including the organ, because it felt like they was taking us to church a little bit. Mm. And it was like the whole song kind of felt like they was taking us to church mm-hmm. because when he said, carry on my way with son, there be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest, don't you cry no more. And it sounds almost biblical. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know? And so, um, with all the biblical things going on, I was like, okay, let's dive into the lyrics just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because um, I I felt like there was more to it. Because, you know, when you initially hear a song, a lot of times you just rock out. And you can't help but to rock out to a song like this because of the guitar solo and the all instrumental. The I like yeah, all yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff in right. there. So it says, Once I rose above the noise and confusion just to get a glimpse beyond this illusion. I was soaring ever higher, but I flew too high. Though my eyes could see, I still was a blind man. Though my mind could think, I still was a madman. I hear the voices when I'm dreaming. I can hear them say. And so it's like, you know when they say when you fly too close to the sun, mm-hmm. you'll get burned. Yeah. And so like all these things are going on. And it's like he's excited about something, but it's not real. Mm-hmm. It's an illusion. It's fake. And so he could see, but he was a blind man. And see, that even sounds biblical, too. Yeah, right, right. You know, because Jesus healed the blind and, you know, um, just seeing things for what the truth is. And so he says he's hear voices when he's dreaming and he can hear them say, carry on my wayward son. It's like God is talking to him. Mm -hmm. There be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. And so it's like you got to you got to keep on going. Even though life doesn't seem the way it's supposed to be, when you do the right things, in the end, you will get your reward. So don't cry no more. <laughs> That's what I got. Yeah, this is right. this is like very. Um, it feels like you said. It feels biblical. biblical. Yeah, that's and then right. Verse two says, "Masquerading." As a man with reason, so he's masquerading as someone he's not. Right. He really has no reason at all. My charade is the event of the season. And if I claim to be a wise man, well, it surely means that I don't know. On a stormy sea of moving emotion, tossed about, I'm like a ship on the ocean. I set a course for winds of fortune, but I hear the voices say, this is so deep. And it goes to the chorus again. And it's like, he really is just, I don't want to say a fraud. Yeah, right. But he, um, when someone says, like, fake it until you make it. Mm, right. That's what I see. Or everybody right. sees this person that he is on the outside. And so he seems like a wise person. He mm. seems like um, he has it all together. But, like, really underneath the surface, he's a mess. And even though that's the case, he has to carry on, you know. And the bridge goes, carry on, you will always remember. Carry on. Nothing equals the splendor. Now your life's no longer empty, but surely heaven waits for you. And so um, it's like at the end, he's done all he can. And now he's going to see the good Lord at the pearly gates. Oh, he died? Uh, I mean, carry on, you will always remember. Carry on, nothing equals the splendor. Now your life's no longer empty, but surely heaven awaits for you. Oh. So he's done everything he's can. He's can. He he can, and now it's like it's time to go. Time to go bye bye. Wow. Eternally. Wow. 
Well, I didn't get all that from listening to this song, but you know, it's, 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 it's second very, time hearing yeah, it. It's, yeah, it's my second time hearing it, but I didn't get all that. And a lot of times when I'm listening to music, I don't go this far into breaking it down. But it does give a different perception when you uh, do uh, interpret the lyri- mm-hmm. lyrics this way. You know what I'm saying? It makes this it makes the song less fun and more grim. No, kind it of. doesn't make. I mean, okay, I don't <laughs> think it makes it less fun because you can still jam out to the song. Yeah, you but can, but it's you like, know it, the meaning to the song. Yeah, right. And right. that's the whole point of songs. See, yeah. so you from a generation where songs have no meaning. Yeah, yeah. and that's what you want to listen to. Sometimes yeah. crap. <laughs> and you just want to go, bro, bro, chicky, chicky, chicky head, boy, please, whatever. And then it's like, oh, okay, yeah, that was great. Yeah, well, but you then know what? I'll, you I'll hear a song like this, right, yeah. and it's like amazing, and you can jam to it. But yeah. then when you dive deep into it, they're actually saying yeah, something. But that's how the majority of music was in the seventies and the eighties. Like there was real lyrical content within the song, and it was less enigmatic. Uh, versus music in the '90s and the 2000s, mm-hmm. because now uh, when they when they do make music, a lot of it is uh, suggestive or it's code mm-hmm. or they use a lot of metaphors for stuff. Mm-hmm. But you know, for music in the '70s, you kind of what you hear is what you get. You know, so yeah. Okay, well, I guess she was born in the right decade, then. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let us know if you've ever. Um, thought that when you were listening to carry on your wayward son if you interpret it that way i mean yeah, eventually a, you'll hear it if very you very cool to breakdown it, if you listen to well that's what i'm here for you yeah. asked me to come down here yeah. that's what happens that's, yeah that's so cool. uh, now you can break down one of my songs i will be gladly okay gladly right. i will right.